Uh, let me go to David. David's calling us from Florida. Hi, David. Hi. Yes, my name's David. Um, I have a question for you. My wife and I, we're currently moving across the states right now. She just got accepted into school in Florida. And so I left my employer, and I'm converting my 401k into a – I have a traditional NROC, um okay. IRA. But since we're going from two incomes to zero income, uh, we are – looking to possibly convert those IRAs into uh, like a 529i to um, help with the school expenses. And I wasn't sure what the tax ramifications would be for both the Roth and the traditional to do that. Well, the, the, the tax ramifications are the same as if you withdraw them. The difference is there's no penalty. Are you under 59 and a half, David? I am. Yeah. So um, those those plans, uh, those IRSs, there's a there's another program called a 72 T program that uh, is uh, a similar plan and allows a 72 T program would allow someone to use their uh, IRA income before 59 and a half to supplement their income. But uh, you don't. So all it does is avoid penalty. It doesn't necessarily it doesn't avoid the taxes. So the taxes are still due, but you save the 10%. There are an awful lot, and I would just caution you on this, David, uh, to read all the fine print because there's a lot of stipulations. For instance, once you start and the plan is laid out, it can't change. If it does change or if it wavers in some way, shape, or form, then all of it is then going to be considered a distribution to you, and you'll have to pay the 10% penalty uh, and the taxes on all of it immediately. So y- there's a very strict set of rules and regulations. If you, For instance, a 72T, you do a 72T program. I don't like them, by the way, but if you, there are people that do those to get the income. You have to declare how much income you're going to take. So they work out calculations based on your age, the IRS, and, and or your accountant or the brokerage company or whatever using IRS calculations. They work it out and they say, okay, based on what we know here, you can draw uh, $622 a month to $750 a month, somewhere in there. And you can pick whatever you want. You can say, well, okay, I'll get uh, 700 even a month. And once you do that, you can never, ever change it. That's what it is um, for the entire time you're withdrawing until you're 59 and a half. Then at 59 and a half, you can be finished with it. In other words, you can say, okay, I I don't don't want any more income as long as you've had it for five years. So if you've been doing it five years, maybe 10 years, and now you're 59 and a half, you can stop the withdrawal and there won't be any penalties. So there's so many little um, uh, stipulations there. And the problem is if you break one of those rules, all of it, the entire pot of money now, becomes taxable to you that year and the 10% penalty. So all I would say is be very, very cautious about it. But you will will have to pay the tax no matter what.